One of the most storied rivalry trophies in the sport was simply a water bottle that was left behind. Michigan didn't remember to grab its little brown jug. They called Minnesota and wanted it back. Gophers said if you want it, come win it. That's what they'll try to do today. The Gophers and the Wolverines square off for the little brown jug. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's College Football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. Home games are now on campus at the University of Minnesota. We're at TCF Bank Stadium. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Kirk Herbstreet. Aaron Andrews will join us from the sideline shortly. Welcome to another game of NCAA football. We're brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. Today's game is between the Michigan Wolverines and the Golden Gophers of Minnesota. set to bring you more exciting football as the bowl and national championship pictures start to take shape. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. Back to Lindsay as the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He'll return it from the one. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. I don't know about you, but this one feels like it's going to be a great ball game. Up the middle. Brought down around the 31-yard line. Barnett gains around eight yards on the run. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. out of bounds at the 37. That was a six-yard completion, and we'll have first and ten coming up. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. First and ten. Ball on the 37. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. He drops back. Out to the half and open, and he can't pull it in. That was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 42. level at the 30. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks First like that, down. you've got the defense right where you want them.
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Slings it. And he's taken down at the 13. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13. This is the ninth play of the current drive. Keys takes the toss left. Nice run there as they work the outside. Four yards there on the toss. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the nine. And the stadium is shaking right now. He's taken down around the nine-yard line. A yard, if even that, on the play-action pass. This should be an easy field goal. Michigan could take the lead with this field goal. And he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Foster has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. The offense will take over at the 25. Second down and about two yards to go. And down he goes at the 31. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. Edmund is back deep to return. Tackle at the 26 yard line. This drive will start at the 26. Michigan is up by three. They'll throw on first down. He's got all day. Going long. Throws complete. He's got room to work. For the 10. Touchdown, Wolverines. That's touchdown pass number 25 of the season. Well, he throws the football with such confidence and such accuracy, it's not shocking at all to see that he's reached this milestone. So they'll review this to see if the receiver had control of the ball. But I got to tell you, I think it looked like the ball bounced into his hands. After review, call the field stands. 
so they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Williamson on the run, and they make the stop at the 24. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. From their own 24-yard line, second down. He's tackled at the 27. Here's third and eight. Ball on their own 27. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Good open field tackle. They couldn't get anything to work and it will be fourth down. The defense decided to go conservative sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He goes out of bounds at the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line. First down. Johnson drops back. Now he tries to buy some time. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 48. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese? Let's check in on what's going on in Berkeley. The Golden Bears have the perfect connection and a touchdown. California leads it 14-0. I don't expect that that score is going to hold, but boy, that would be an upset. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. catch there before he stepped out of bounds now that's how you run a corner route he exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs from the 41 yard line first down they call it a catch but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this man as i see this play again it really looks like he made the correct call on the field So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, second down. Toss play. The 36 yard line. As we change into the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. Michigan's got a 10 point lead. Okay. 
third down again. Brought down around the 26-yard line. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's got it with room to run. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 13. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. First and 10, ball on the 13-yard line. catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. And he converts the extra point. It was an eight-play, 52-yard drive. And the result, seven points. You know, I know we live in an era of the spread, and people expect offenses to, to spread you out and throw the football all day. But I still believe that the, the ability to move the football has a lot to do with your balance. And right now what we're seeing from this offense is balance. They're running, they're passing the football, and it's really keeping the defense on its heels. They'll start at the 25-yard line. Seven yard line. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. This has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. From their own 37 yard line, it's first down. He's back to pass here on first down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's taken down right around midfield. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. down 10 yards to go ball on the 50 inside handoff he gets out to about the 37 yard line you know that saying get your keys out because we're on a drive this offense right now is on a drive i mean this is their third first down they're doing just about anything they want and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down He looks to throw on first down. They fall on him. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Keeping you up to date on what's happening in Berkeley. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Oregon, they're struggling to take control of this game. And for Goss, he's punched one into the end zone on the ground. The Golden Bears have the edge. 14-7 early in the second quarter. 17 to nothing. our score here. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He drops back. He airs it out. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. And he 
adds the extra point. So that's a five play, 79 yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 17 7. Now let's go down to our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. She's got an injury update. Thanks, Brad. He came off the field holding his lower back. That being said, he's not going to be able to play anymore in this game. Back to you, Brad. Hopefully, he isn't out for too many games. Thanks for that update, Aaron. He's taken down at the 27 yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Hand off up the middle. Makes it out to about the 36. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Got a man. Watch out here. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. Dawson gains about four yards there. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. The 44-yard line. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. First and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Inside give. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 42-yard line, second down. He steps up. And a quick throw. And down he goes at the nine. Being a 33 on the play. That brings up second and goal. Well, they found some seams in the coverage there. Let's see if the defense makes any adjustments to counter. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. two-yard line. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's check in on what's going on in Berkeley. We've been watching this thing all day long. Back and forth, they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. And for Goss, he scored a touchdown. California leads it 14-10. Well, you can never look ahead a week, but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds. From the two-yard line, it's second down. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. He scrambled. And he's going to come up with a sack. That makes it pretty good. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. Almost intercepted there. This one should be makeable. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Foster has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He 
He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator's got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. Looks like offsides. Offside. Here's the official call. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. From their own 30-yard line, second down. And he's immediately tackled. Garrett makes the catch for about five yards on the play, and that's good for a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Gidry gets the ball. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Somebody jumped early down there. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Zips it to the tight end. And he's tackled the 39 yard line. That'll bring up 36. From their own 39-yard line. Third down. Drops back to pass. He lets it fly. And he stays in bounds and he hauls in a big one. This secondary better tighten it up if they're going to slow down this drive. It's first and ten after the big pass play. First down, look at the throw. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. He drops back. Swings it out there incomplete. Pitts the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Back to pass. Throwing left. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. It's fourth down. Fourth down. And the offense is still on the field. Williamson drops back. Oh, he had some steam on that throw. 
What an unbelievable fourth down conversion. That was a big time play. Heck of a job there to keep this drive going. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Tackle at the 15. Minnesota will take their second time out of the half. From the 15 yard line, second down. Williamson gets the ball. Makes it out to maybe the 13 yard line. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. Just throws this one away. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 34. They'll go to work at the 34-yard line. He's looking to pass. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Taken down right around the 38-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First and 10, ball on the 38. And he's hit immediately. Call it a gain of 10 yards. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. This one's going deep to the end zone. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. He hauls in his second touchdown catch. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll start this drive at the 25. They try the right side. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. We've played a half. The Wolverines lead 27-10. Schmidt Michigan is set to kick this ball off to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
for Minnesota. They couldn't quite do enough to pull close to these guys. Aaron Andrews has more from the sideline. Visiting with the head coach before the start of the third quarter, he told me that a few plays here and there have made this score more inflated than it should be. There were some big plays in the passing game. Brad, back up to you. Let's see if they can get something going now. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. First down and back to pass. Fires quick. Tipped. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Fires out to his receiver. He's to the 40. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. From the 49-yard line, first down. Back to pass. was the intended receiver on the play. That makes second the down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Back to pass. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Ducks arrive at today's game number two in the nation. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Ducks have the perfect connection and a touchdown. And for Bonds, he's thrown for a touchdown. The Ducks lead 17-14, just out of the half. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you could ever expect that to happen, though. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Going long. He got it. They're not done yet. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. They'll set up shop at the 25. Goes uh. quickly. It's almost intercepted. Edmonds is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. left. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Third down, 12 yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Johnson set to go to the air. And he's level at the 15-yard line. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Schmidt is the deep man awaiting the return. 
And this one is a beauty. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out on the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move it. They'll go with the option. And they make the stop at the 48. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That brings up second and nine. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Looking to throw. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Looks to pass. And down he goes at the 50-yard line. Garrett gains two yards with a short completion. Fourth down. Lindsay to punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's check in on what's going on in Berkeley. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Oregon, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. The Golden Bears have the edge, 21-17. 10-point game here, Reese, 27-17. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Second and 10. Ball on their own 20. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at about the 21. So the quarterback scrambles for about a yard. That'll make it third and nine. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 21. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Foster is waiting for the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's taken down at the 39. They'll go to work at the 39-yard line. Going deep, lays it out there. No, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. Third and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. He drops back. Wants to go long and down. To the 20. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. Excellent play here by the quarterback. Making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. That receiver was so wide open. As a quarterback, you just don't want to blow. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you. And you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he adds the extra point. That means need to 
Lindsay has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From the five-yard line. And he's taken down at the 26. This senior quarterback's having a great game, Kirk. Well, he knows this system so well. So no matter what defense you throw at him, he's going to do a good job of reading the defense and putting the ball where it needs to be to be able to move the ball downfield. The quarterback's done just a phenomenal job. And you look back at some of these touchdowns, you can see that he has the vision. He's seeing the whole field, and he's putting his offense in a position to be able to move the ball down the field. This guy's doing a great job overall. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Michigan has a three-point lead. Drops back to pass. Quick throw to the tight end. Right down, right around the 30. Four yards gain. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Second and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. Feeds it to the back. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll bring up 32. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. This crowd is energetic, and they'd really love to see a stop right here. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Keeping you up to date on what's happening in Berkeley. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Oregon, a very lethargic performance so far. If they don't watch out, they're going to be in a world of hurt. The Golden Bears lead it by 18, getting late in the third quarter. Reese were separated by a field goal here, 27-24. First and ten. Ball on their own 40. And he's tackled at about the 39 yard line. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 39. Around the 47 yard line. Andrews on the tackle at the 47 yard line. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Michigan holds a field goal lead. Got a throw here on third and short. And he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. Just throws this one away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 43. What? Keys on the run. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. From the 30-yard line, first down. Harris gets a handoff to the right. Tackle at the 22-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. They got 
got to him, and he did not get the first down. A one-yard gain by the halfback. So they're going to go for it here. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And he shoved out of bounds around the 14-yard line. First down. About seven yards there on the scamper from the halfback, and that's going to be good for the first. I think that's the third time he's carried the ball on this drive, and I can imagine they'll keep giving it to this guy until the defense can figure out how to stop him. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. 27-24, Wolverines. From the 14-yard line, first down. Michigan is up by three. Wants to throw outside. That close to being intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. What's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. And he throws right away. And this one falls incomplete. That brings up third and 10. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14. Zip it out, and that was almost picked off. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. We've got a flag down on the field. Might have been offside. Looks ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. I think it goes without saying that this is a very critical possession. They have to be thinking about getting the ball into the end zone because it's getting too late in the game to be thinking about field goals. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Fires quickly to the tight end. Next reception. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 24-yard line, second down. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. He's up to 300 yards passing. He's been able to get up and down the field all day today, moving consistently and effectively. From their own 42-yard line, 
It's first down. Williamson gets the ball. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42 yard line. And he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. Gidry comes away with two yards on the carry. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Passing lanes like that, you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Edmund is the deep man awaiting the return. Signals for a fair catch. They'll start this drive at the 15 yard line. Michigan up six. They go with the option. Nice run there. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Back to pass. Quick pass. And he tackles them hard at the 35. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From their own 35-yard line, first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the forty nine. of the 40. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Michigan is up by six. He launches one for the end zone. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's check in on what's going on in Berkeley. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Oregon, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. The Golden Bears lead it by 15. 30 to 24 in our game here. From the 39 yard line, second down. He's scrambling. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Johnson is in it. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. The student section's going crazy. Steps out of bounds at the 34. 
Harrison picks him up around seven yards with that catch. So it's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It's up. And he splits the uprights. Foster has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He hits a booming kick. He's to the 10. He makes it to the 18-yard line. And for Schmidt, he's had a great game catching the ball. Well, Brad, he really has, and he's got the hot hand. And let's give some credit to the offensive coordinator because he's smart enough to get the football to him and allow him to make these plays that's helping this offense out. And the thing that we're seeing is he has speed to burn. And when he gets behind the defense, there's virtually no chance of stopping him. They'll take over at the 18-yard line. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Uh. Tipped away. This is a well-prepared defense. They know where to be, and they know what their opponent likes to do. They play tight coverage as well. Fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Just under three to go in regulation. Williamson gets the call. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. He's hit and taken down. Second down now, they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Drops back to pass. He throws it. Picked off by the senior. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. from their own 31-yard line. First down. That's a great tackle at the 32-yard line. Minnesota will take their first time out of the half from their own 32-yard line. Second down. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Minnesota's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made at the 49. The Golden Gophers using their third and last time out. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They line up in the jumbo set. They go with the back, and he's got room. He's at the 40, to the 20. To the 10. Touchdown!
And that rushing touchdown should put this one away, Kirk. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. And they won't get the two. It was a quick three-play, 68-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Foster has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Just under two minutes in the game. He's back to pass here on first down. Fires it out. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36. situation here. It's third and one. Quick toss. And that one's fallen incomplete. It's fourth down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. the 44-yard line. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. at the 32. That gives him a total of 100 yards on his carry so far. One of the reasons he's a real contender for the Heisman is that he's able to produce on the ground like this. Not every quarterback can do that. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. So much scoring and so much fun. And finally, it's over. Michigan, 39. Minnesota, 24. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. And for Johnson, he'll walk out of here with the Player of the Game Award.
For Michigan, they continue to build on what's shaping up to be a good season. And for Minnesota, they fall to 3-6, and six, and you can all but count them out of a bowl game this year. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 13. For Kirk Street and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.